Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What is the most important lesson learned from COVID-19? You can have all the free time in the world and still manage to do nothing with it. I feel attacked LMAO. So does my unfinished 1000 piece puzzle. And it's perfectly fine to do nothing with it. We need to stop placing so much emphasis on meaning in life. Just enjoy the time instead of worrying about not doing anything. Exactly. If you told me I could have half a year to just stay at home. I'd say I'd learn a language. Write a novel and get into shape. Whilst I wish I did something to show. I think it was good to have some time as a human being rather than a machine trying to work and achieve shit. If there was ever a zombie attack, people would definitely lie about being bit. People would deny the zombies are real. I know don't look up was a comment on climate change, but there were a lot of times I thought, wait, is this about COVID deniers? Quote. Non-essential jobs pay a lot more than essential ones. So fucking true. I work in food retail. I was called essential. Certainly did not feel essential and still don't. But at least they said stuff like thanks and good job. It was weird to get a customer say something like, we appreciate all of you that are coming in to work through this. Followed directly by another customer saying, what do you mean that's $12? It was in the $5 bin. I want to speak to your manager. Quote dot. That 50% of jobs can be done from home while the other 50% deserve more than they're being paid. Bosses. Hey essential workers. Thanks for working through the pandemic. Workers. Oh we're essential. Can we have a pay rise? Quote. Bosses. Nope. Get back to work. You say essential I saw expendable. At least that's how it felt disappointed. The supply chain is far leaner and vulnerable to the vagaries of pandemic conditions than most. Had thought. I work in supply chain. Everyone from my chain of command to truckers to terminal management were all saying the same thing. Last year was the single worst they had ever. Ever seen it. Can only hope there are big changes in the pipe. I doubt it. Resilience in the supply chain be the enemy of maximizing profit in the short term. I predict that the C-suite will have short memories and start demanding more efficiency soon enough. People are dumb as fuck. A decent amount of people I work with surprised me a lot during the pandemic. People I used to have some respect for revealed themselves as complete idiots. It was really sobering. Sobering and disappointing. The sheer lack of empathy too, was eye-opening. What's that old saying? We're all just three meals away from total chaos? I've been thinking about that adage a lot the past few years. Edit. Holy hell. It never ceases to amaze me when a throwaway comment resonates like this. The last time I got anywhere near this number of upvotes was when I casually said I've never been to a waffle house. Edit 2. Nothing to add. Just wanted to piss off the cunt who doesn't like edits. As a chef I can actually confirm some people are only a 10 minute wait away from total chaos. As someone who skipped lunch, I'm 33% more likely to riot right now. I like people not being near me. Yup. People standing six feet apart in lines is nice, for instance. Not long ago I had a woman walk behind me in a line. Got about three feet from me and said, uh hum. Six feet. I looked at her and pointed behind her and said, yes that way. I love people giving me space but goddamn some people have turned into monsters through this whole ordeal. How comfortable I seriously am with just myself. My wife died in late November 2019. The whole world shutting down and me being forced to keep myself company for months from March 2020 was the best thing that ever happened to me. Gave me the space I needed to get my head right, and took away all the social pressure surrounding grief. COVID saved me. Yeah. Turns out my preferred amount of social interaction can be summed up as quarantine. I agree. When the first shutdowns happened, it really didn't change my life all that much. I love that I didn't have to make excuses for not doing things, as a serious introvert. That was so good for my anxiety. We need to teach statistics and critical thinking better. I knew the average person was pretty dumb but man did the pandemic shine a giant spotlight on how bad things truly are and how much of a negative effect that can have on the population as a whole. It's funny because the word apocalypse comes from the ancient Greek apocalyptane which means to uncover or to reveal. Covid has really revealed just how fragile our institutions are. So to call it an apocalypse in the most literal sense isn't too far off. Just because they're voted officials. It's clear they aren't the smartest nor do they have your best interest in mind. The extent to which politicians will sell out public health for their political advantage is much higher than I thought. Usually life or death situations are good for all politicians. Just be a voice of stability and hope and you're good. We all pull together and get through it. This time, dividing us intentionally to cause chaos. ISTILLC can't believe real people did that. As they say, never waste a good crisis. If your plan relies on everyone working together, it is doomed to fail. 
Pandemic was just the proverbial group project in school all over again. A couple of intelligent and hard-working people trying to keep everything from falling apart while the rest sit on their ass or choose to straight up sabotage everything. Yet somehow everyone gets the exact same grade. Most schools weren't as ready to switch to digital methods as they bragged about. A lot of families aren't ready for digital learning, either. Not everyone has a computer for every child, let alone broadband internet access, or an adult to stay home with the kids. Lockdown really pointed out the difference between the haves and the have-nots. One of the biggest problems we had was standardized testing. Our fall 2020 scores, in my school at least, were astronomically high compared to our fall 2019 scores. Similarly, winter 2021, we test in January, this was the same 2020-2021 school year, was high. But when we were back in person in spring 2021, scores were back to normal levels. As it turned out, the parents were helping their kids take the tests or outright doing the tests for them. We had to throw away a whole year's worth of results because they were contaminated.